Hello, Bethany friends, and welcome to uh, this service of worship. We're glad that you're able to join us online today as we gather uh, in the Lord's name. He has promised when two or three are gathered in his name that he is there. And so we claim him even though uh, we are separated uh, by this distance. Uh, We know that God is with us. So let us uh, call ourselves into a time of worship. Hear these words from Psalm 138. Holy, holy, holy is the God of hosts. The whole earth is full of God's glory. The steadfast love of God surrounds us here. We have come to see and to hear and to understand. Let us pray. O God, whose presence fills this place of gathering, we bow before your majesty in awe and wonder. When we consider the vast universe of your dominion, we are humbled by your attention to us. Your steadfast love and faithfulness amaze us. Your care for the lowly gives us a sense of our own dignity and worth. Send your gospel to teach us, to save us from ourselves, to lead us into all truth. Show us the tasks we can accomplish for you and grant us the courage to reach out in your name to do them. Amen. Let us sing together. Our first reading today is from Psalm 71. It's entitled in my Bible, A Prayer for Lifelong Protection and Help. So listen for the word of the Lord. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. 
for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, let us continue in an attitude of prayer. O God, your voice shakes the deficient foundations on which we have built our lives. We are summoned to account for our faithlessness. We've been called as disciples and apostles but we have not followed in the footsteps of Jesus or led others to the grace of God. Remind us of your sovereignty and hear us as we confess our broken commitments. God, we are afraid to admit the many ways we have failed you. We are sinful people who forget to thank you and who delay consulting with you about the decisions we must make. We prefer the safety of familiar programs, even when they are ineffective. We cling to our routines, even when they cause us to lose sight of your purposes. We are a people of unclean lips, dwelling among people who deny your presence and power. O God, hear our prayer as we fall down before you and seek your forgiveness. By your grace, O God, Christ comes to us and reclaims us and shows us a new way, a way that is empowering and creates new ways for effective service. God, your word calls us to take risks and your revelation in Jesus Christ gives us confidence to try again when we have failed. So appear to us now as we listen to the scriptures and lift our eyes to see your face. Grant that we may feel your presence and that we may indeed discern your will. Equip us to respond with confident faithfulness to the work you give us to do. We want to go where you send us and we want to live up to what you expect of us. So open us up to live together as you intend. Oh God, we pray all of these things in the name and in the love and in the power 
of Jesus Christ, who teaches us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our gospel reading today comes to us from the gospel of Luke, chapter 5, the first 11 verses. This is the scripture in which Jesus calls his first disciples. So listen for the word of the Lord. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything. And they followed him. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. I'm going to read this famous story uh, one additional time. And I want you to pay a, a closer attention to Peter and Peter's response. Uh, for that is the theme of today. When we encounter Jesus, something changes. And we are never, ever the same afterwards. So listen and watch for Peter's response and see how it reminds you of your own personal response as you think of the ways in which you have encountered Jesus and never been the same after that. Listen for the word of the Lord. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats that were at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night, but we have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and to help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything, and they followed him. How are you called to follow Jesus? Show me. Oh. 
Friends, receive this blessing. We have been comforted and we have been blessed when we are in the presence of Jesus. And so God is leading us through these troubled times. When we encounter Jesus, we're reminded that God has cleansed us from the sins that destroy us. And so we give thanks and we sing our praises to this God who has given us more and more and more. And so our question today is, who will witness to the grace of God? Who will go out and serve in Christ's name? Our response is, here we are, ready to be sent into the world. We will go where God directs us, and we will share this great good news. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Oh